Hi heathens! Today's video is going to be a like morning work get ready with me. I have not filmed in a hot minute. Um, I do have some boxes that I need to do at some point in the next week or so. Um, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did not mean to slack on filming for that long. Um, I just, uh, it, yeah, brain space hasn't been, uh, in the correct brain space to be able to properly film and feel like I'm contributing something to the video and not filming just for the sake of filming, which I don't like doing. Um, I'm also going to use a palette this morning that I haven't used yet. This is the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy. I do want to also get a marker and go in and write the colors on that. If anyone knows like a good Sharpie type marker um, that'll stay on that like cardboard, let me know. Um, because I bought that one a while, while back off of Glambot and it was one of the older ones where they had the insert that had the color names on it. So I want to write them on the cardboard because it didn't come with the insert so that if I'm using it on camera I can tell you what color I'm using. I am using an eye primer for this video because I have used um, you know, Morphe palettes before, and since this one is more of a pastel palette, I know that the eye primer is going to be quite useful. Um, but yeah, just, I, I have not, look at this spot that my glasses are leaving. I haven't been able to bring myself to be in a good place to film. Um, I don't really know what that's about but again I don't like filming if it feels like I'm forcing myself to because then I feel like I'm not giving the quality you know that I want to give regardless what the video is um okay so I'm gonna start with this like light green and then tap over into that blue and then we'll see what we've got and decide what shimmer we want to go in with after that. Um, but that like lighter green is going to be my base uh, over the eye primer. But I have a doctor appointment today um, because apparently I cannot get a refill for medication until I go have a, I don't know, follow-up visit, I guess, even though I've been getting the same thing for, like, two and a half years now. But, you know, I get it, whatever. It's policy. But I figured, you know, I, I cleaned this area yesterday. I've been in a slightly better headspace, so while I was like, okay, I'm not gonna film an unboxing before all this... I figured it would be a really good reason to try to film just a little get ready with me and kind of explain where I've been <laughs> and like what's been going on, even though it's hard to explain because I don't have a good excuse. Um, I mean, any of y'all that also have like potentially anxiety or depression or anything like that uh, you hopefully still at least understand kind of where I'm coming from um, you know it's just one of those things and it didn't help that in my last few videos I'm like yeah I'm gonna get back into this I'm sorry blah 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 and then when I couldn't I was even more disappointed in myself and it made it that much harder to want to film so it was just a very vicious cycle. But again, I think I'm doing a little better. And 
I'm not going to be, you know, making any deadlines. I'm not going to say, I'm switching into the blue now, same brush. I'm not going to say necessarily like, oh, you know, I'm going to get back on my filming routine because I may not, you know, just because I feel fine today. I have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring or this weekend, you know. So I'm going to try to be a little less hard on myself for a while, and I hope that y'all can, you know, understand and bear with me while I try to kind of get back in a rhythm. Um, I, I guess, like, most people's seasonal depression comes in, like, fall and winter. I don't know if maybe mine it hits in the summer or if it was just bad timing. Uh, but, you know, could just be kind of a combination of a lot of things, because that's just how life goes sometimes. So, I'd love to know how everyone else is doing, how have you been, what you been up to, you tried any good products, watched any good movies, tell me all the things. I need communication. I need information. All right. Uh, for shimmer, look at the kickback in this. <sighs> kind of ridiculous. Um, I think I want to go in with this one. I don't know if on this one, I don't know if on camera you're going to be able to see like the shift in it. I stuck my finger in the glitter. That's cool. But it kind of has like a pinky blue duochrome. So I'm going to use it on my finger first. And just put it over the top. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, see, I think that's pretty. And it's nice and... <laughs> soft and subtle. Sorry, I think you're about to see cattail. But it still gives nice, like, just dimension without the whole eye look being overwhelming. Um, because I figured that was another good way to ease myself back into wearing makeup daily. Yesterday was the first day that I've put on, like, any form of makeup outside of the last few videos that I've filmed in maybe a month. Uh, like I said, I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. And again, didn't want to force myself. So, but I wore makeup yesterday and it felt good. You know, I'm going to put on a few fake freckles. So that was another reason I wanted to go ahead and film this morning, because while I was in that mindset, I figured maybe filming and doing another video that made, or doing a video would make me feel even more good, and hopefully it would just start a good trend for me, you know? And again, you may not know. <laughs> you know, that just... Oh my gosh, how many times in this video am I going to say you know? Even at the beginning of that, I said it. Alright. I don't want to go too over the top with freckles today. We're going to use the ColourPop Level Up Mascara in brown. Um... I still have a little bit of mascara technically on because I could not get it all to come off. And I don't even remember which one I used yesterday. I think it was my Huda Beauty, like the, the double-ended one. One side has length and one side has volume. I can't think of what it's called. Legit Lashes or something? And the only thing I could think is because it's been so long since I've 
like actually worn mascara. <laughs> it just like clung to my lashes or something. I don't know. But that's why I'm picking a brown because I already have some on. So I don't want to go like too hard on my lashes. Mascara face. Why do we do that? Does anyone know? Are there people that don't do that? Because that would be interesting. I'd love to know how they uh, control their face while they're putting on mascara. Because I cannot. It does what it wants to do, and I just kind of let it happen. Um, I want to go ahead and put something on my lips because they're like chappy. Um, that's a gloss. That is my black color pop mascara. Okay, let's use this. This is from Lurella. This is the Princessa Glowing. Pretty sure this is a lip oil. Might be a lip gloss. <clears throat> it looks more like a lip oil. So that'll be nice and moisturizing, I think. Yeah. The smell kind of reminds me of like those old school. Do y'all remember what brand was it? I want to say Maybelline, maybe? It was a brand, like one of the like classic drugstore brands, that they used to have little squeezy tubes like this, but they were like not that big. Oh, I had one and I loved it. It was like a, a shimmery pink. That smell reminds me of that. Um, okay, so we need a highlighter, and I don't think I'm going to go for blush or bronzer today, so highlighter, then some setting spray should kind of like finish up the look. So for highlighter, I want to go in with this. This is the Rude Cosmetics Angel Glow palette, which has like all these little like mini colors. I want to go in this time with Pure, which is like a silvery one, because these are also like duochrome type shades. Just taking a fluffy highlighter brush, tapping in, tapping off excess. But yeah, I'm also going to, since I'm going to be at the doctor anyway, um, ask about a few other things that have been kind of on my mind. See if I can't get some suggestions. You know, I'm already going to be there, so why not? All right, let's set it, and eventually I'm going to like work myself back up and wearing foundation and stuff too. I just feel like, not that it takes a lot of time, just that's a lot, and I feel like going from nothing to full glam would make me feel some type of way. Yeah, which one is this? Lemongrass. This is Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray. Do they ever still do their little mystery boxes? That was one of the, I think, first, like, branded mystery boxes that I got on my channel. I loved that thing. All right. Well, this, I know it's not a long video or anything, but is my finished look. 
I actually quite like the eyes. It's definitely different for me because I don't typically wear like pastels uh, as far as eyeshadow goes, but I think it works with the shirt. Anyway, I'd love to know y'all's thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. Again, I'm not making any promises as to frequency or anything of uploads right now. We're just gonna take the days as they come. Um, I would appreciate any encouraging words uh, or if y'all have like your own coping mechanisms, I think that would be really neat to be able to share below. Um, otherwise, that's it. I'm ready. I'm going to go finish, like, getting ready, ready, and then head out. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye.